There are many ways to work within AutoCAD. There is the ribbon and the command line, to name a few. These are two of the most important and most often used input methods in the user interface. The ribbon is very straightforward. Go to a tab, go to a panel, then click the icon you want to use. And that starts the command. Very simple. The command line, though, is a bit more involved. In fact, no matter if you use the ribbon, toolbars, menus, or whatever, you still have to use the keyboard for input. There are some tricks that you can use to be more efficient with it, though. In other sections, we spoke about entering commands on the command line, like the line or the arc commands. We also discussed command aliases for those commands. You know, for example, the command alias for the line command is the letter L. Just type in L and press Enter. And you've drawn a line. A for arc. And you've drawn an arc. Quite simple. But what if you type the wrong thing? It's okay, it happens. We all do it. You can work in the command line as if it were a single line text editor in a word processor. I can come to the command line, click inside it, and start working. So if you make a mistake similar to this, you can use your arrow keys to move the cursor around. You can backspace or delete to get rid of text you don't want. You can even use the home and end keys to move to the front of the line or to the back, just like in a word processor. Remember too that pressing the up and down arrow keys will navigate you through the menus, or if you're not in a command, pressing up or down will toggle you through your most recent commands. So there are a lot of ways to use the command line and dynamic input to use or start or activate commands. When you execute a command, there are usually some sort of instructions or a request given to you by AutoCAD. It will need more information. The circle command is a fantastic example. You would think that a circle is a very simple thing. It's round, it has a center point. Well, there are a lot of different ways to draw a circle in AutoCAD. By default, when you start the circle command, you pick your center point and you enter in the radius of the circle. You can just pick a point or you can type in a set distance. Well, what if you want to enter in the diameter? Well, you can take that diameter, do the math, divide it in half, and there's your radius. Or you can start your circle command and follow the command prompts in your command line. Now, you can click on the word diameter, and now you're drawing your diameter. Or you can just type in the letter D for diameter. So if I start my circle command, type in the letter D, press enter, I'm now drawing with my diameter. That's very basic. But let's start the circle command again. It already starts off before I've done anything. Before I've picked the center of my circle, I have options. I have three of them. I have 3P, 2P, and TTR, which is tan tan radius. This will allow you to draw a circle in a different way. Maybe you don't know where the center of your circle needs to be. For example, let's look here at this little widget. Let's say we want to draw a circle that comes from this endpoint to this endpoint. Well, where's the circle center? What's the radius? What's the diameter? I don't know. I can pick the 2P option, and this will draw your circle based on two points. It picks your first point there, and then as you move, the cursor around, it draws a chord in your circle that will define where your circle goes. Pretty cool. I can also use the 3P method. And again, I can come down to the command line and pick it, or I can just type in 3P. I pick my first point, I pick a second point that defines two points on my circle, and now my third point. There are a lot of ways and a lot of reasons to draw this way. Now, similarly, the tan tan radius will ask me for a tangent of the circle, we'll say this line, to another tangent for the circle, this line, 
and now it will ask me for a radius. Let's say five units. So it drew this circle tangent to these two lines with a radius of five units. If I extend these lines to my circle, you'll see that they're tangent to them. And if I trim it, I have a nice tangential arc to the end of my widget. So there are a lot of different reasons why you would want to draw a circle in different ways. It's going to be based on the information you already have and with what you want to do. Now if we knew what the radius of this circle was going to be, or if we knew where the center point is, then it would be very easy to use the default circle commands. So look at your command line when you start a command and see what it says. It will typically show you that you have more options available, but not always. Entering a command can be tricky from time to time because you have so many options. When you put something on the command line, then you can use different things. Typically though, you'll be able to just enter in your command. Type it in, just start typing wherever you're at, and when you're done, press enter. That starts the command. Another option besides the enter key is the space bar. The space bar in AutoCAD, unless you're typing in text, functions just like the enter key. So when I'm starting a command, I can press space and that's enter. I can start my command, pick a point, do things, and press the space bar. The space bar and the enter key in AutoCAD are the same thing. That's nice because the space bar is much larger and it's much easier to hit with my left or my right hand while I'm working. And if you have your mouse set up, your right click functions as the enter key. Remember, when you're not in any commands, and if you hit enter, that will restart your last command. So I can draw a line just by pressing enter. I can restart the line command again by pressing enter again, or the space bar. Now to cancel a command, you just press the escape key. That cancels out what you're doing and nothing happened. But be careful, because there is the dreaded F1 button. Hitting that will open up your help window. As you go and use AutoCAD, you're going to learn that you want to hit the escape key, but often miss, and you hit the F1 button. It's going to happen. If it hasn't happened to you already, it will happen, trust me. Many users have literally ripped off the F1 button so they don't hit it by accident. And yes, it does happen that much. You can also type in a question mark press enter, and that will open up your help window as well. So removing your F1 button won't hinder you, unless of course you need it in some other program. AutoCAD is fully equipped with an undo feature, which is one of my favorite options or commands in AutoCAD. To get to it, just type in the letter U, or just type in the whole word undo. If I type in U, it will undo my last command. I can also press Control Z. That will undo something or I can come up to my quick access toolbar and click the undo arrow. This arrow here will give me a list of a lot of the commands I've already done. As I move the mouse up and down, you'll see they're highlighted in blue. All of these are going to be undone if I pick this last circle here. Boom, it undoes all of that stuff. And then you have a redo option. Now, redo doesn't work so well. We'll talk about these a little bit more and in depth it'll really only redo your last thing. Now if you type in the word undo, you're going to get a lot of different options, just like with the circle. Each one of these things does something different. You can tell AutoCAD to undo the last four things I've done, and it will. You can also mark a point in time and say, I want you to go all the way back to that point. That's very handy if you're trying out a new concept design. And you say, hey, let's mark this point, you know, try out this concept, say, oh, it didn't work, go back. And it goes back and undoes all of that stuff you tried. That's very cool. It will reset you to where you were before. One other thing in our advanced operation techniques here that I want to go over is the need to start a command from within a command. Not everything can do that. You can't start the line command while you're in a circle command. Obviously, that would be silly. But there are some things that you're going to want to do, like pan and zoom. These are called transparent commands. The most common of these are going to be your pan or zoom commands. 
there will be times when you need to zoom in really close and draw a line from something like this circle and then draw another line from it but then you will need to pan out or zoom out to draw the second part of your line. Now when you start a transparent command from the ribbon it's automatic and you don't have to do anything special. For example, let's draw our line from the circle and we go to the ribbon, the view tab, and pan. Now this will allow us to pan over to where we need to go and hit the escape key and now I can draw this line to the center of my circle. And there you go. You can also use the scroll wheel. You zoom in and out or pan back and forth transparently within a command. So I can zoom in, zoom out, pan, zoom back in. These are transparent commands. And ever since the scroll wheel became used in AutoCAD to zoom in and to pan around, I haven't really used transparent commands and thought about it in a long time. But if you're entering in your commands on the command line, so if I'm starting off a line, snap to the center of the circle, and I want to enter in the zoom command, I have to use an apostrophe. Type in apostrophe and then Z. That will give me a real time zoom. So I can type in my window zoom and it will zoom me in, and now I'm back to drawing. Well, again, honestly, I don't do that too much anymore because the scroll wheel does it for me. But if you need to, I wanted you to know about it. Again, you may never need to, but if you do, and you want to enter in everything that way, because let's say you only have a two-button mouse, or the scroll wheel isn't working for whatever reason, and you still need to work, and starting your command, then going to the view tab on the ribbon, picking pan or picking zoom can be difficult. It takes more steps. You don't want to use more steps. You just want to work. So apostrophe Z or apostrophe P for your transparent commands.